Hi guys, I'm Max Slight, and this is an introduction to Space Engineering. I thought what I would do with all the changes lately, I would make a succinct set of tutorial videos to help guide new players and maybe a few veteran players on a few things on the basics of Space Engineers. Now I say the basics because what I'm going to do is show you what the blocks are how to use them and how to maybe set and um, set up a bit of automation and things like that and how that works um, what you need to remember is that once i show you once you learn out the blocks and what they do what you build and how you build is completely up to your imagination so you would use the blocks however you need to use them <coughs> excuse me the I will be covering a little bit about mods, but only really how to um, put them into your game, in the game menus and game selection. Okay, so when you log into Space Engineers, this is the scene that you are faced with. This is the menu, this is the main menu. In this, you can see Continue Game, which won't be here if you haven't already played Space Engineers with a save game. New Game where you can start a new game and you have a lot of further options to um, select and the next few screens I will be covering later on. You got load game, so if you have a saved game you can start that up, that will have all the options that you've selected and um, start you where you where you finished off last time we last saved. Join game allows you to join a multiplayer game now this can be a dedicated server such as I have for my subscribers and um, VIPs. It can be a hosted game or it can be an official server. We have the options which you can tweak um, all your game settings. Um, you can um, tweak your, 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 your standard in-game stuff here. So. This is where your graphics, audio, and all that kind of thing is set. Your character is um, also a quick screen to show when in, in game you get things called an unknown signal drop. Um, they're called unknown signals. So if you go and collect those, you get little bits of um, different outfits, suit parts, weapons, and tools. And you can customize your look here. And then there's exit to windows which is exit to windows so let's have a quick look through character here when you select the screen you see your character on the right and then on the left here sorry on the left your character on the right here you can see all the parts that you've collected these are the ones that i have suits tools and everything like that um you can recycle um doubles so that you get some parts back and things it's all done in here you can change the colors and everything like that simple really options game options gives you some options about what you want to play the, how you want to play the game and play experimental which is the latest one um, and other hints and stuff here good bot and all that kind of stuff okay and then uh, set up your UI uh, you got display which is these are all pretty standard graphics, audios, controls, and everything. Okay. Join game. This is all the servers. So whether they're official, these are official, and um, I think these are just people's servers or people's games that you can join publicly. Okay. You got games here. Favorites, history, uh, land, friends, and so on and so on. So you can connect through all here, or you can do a direct connect, which you need the server details. There, simple, really. 
Okay, load game takes you to all of your load your game saves. Now, as you notice, mine takes quite a while to load up because I have a bunch of save games. I have a lot. So all of these are worlds that I've saved. And when you select a world here, you can edit the cert, the cert settings, which we'll go into in a minute, the new game settings. You can publish it, which means you can put it on the Steam Workshop for other people to check out. You can do some change the name by save as and so on. Okay. And if you want to play that game, you just click on the load one, which is down here on the right. That simple. Okay, so new game menu. This is the important one. This is where you wish to start a new game. And this offers a lot of choices here. So you look at the top, you've got three tabs. Scenario, Workshop, Custom Game. We're on the Scenario tab right now. And Scenarios, basically, um, you can pick a pre-made game. And that will show you um, what somebody else has made. So these are from the devs. And you can pick a, a scenario there. There's a little bit of a description about each one. And they're a bit more guided for um, mostly beginners. So learning to survive is a good one for beginners. And first jump is a good one for beginners. I think never surrender is um, end game. You've got to continuously defeat drones and stuff. is quite hard. Workshop here on the left hand side will show you all the worlds that you're subscribed to on Steam and you can pick one from there to start and then we go to custom game now here is where you can really get to the, the, the crux of it and where you can really tailor the game to your, your play style. Um, on the left you pick which kind of world you want to start from so you can see your alien planet which is a planet that's alien, there's no atmosphere, and there's alien staff. A crashed red ship, so you start in space on a ship that's crashed, and you've got to salvage the ship to carry on playing and build things and so on. Drop Arena, which is a kind of a scenario-ish, kind of started off guided, but you carry on from there. Earth Planet, Empty World. Now, Empty World... Is good if you want to do creative, which we'll cover in a minute. Create there's nothing in this world, so it's not a not survival world. Green station, lone survivor. These are all different types of start, and they they vary in different what they've got, where they start, what kinds of things. And you've got the solar system down the bottom, which gives you three planets to pick from and moons and all that stuff. So it's a bigger environment. On the right-hand panel in the center is the right-hand panel. You can pick your name. So you name it here, and that helps you to find it in your load screen. And also, if your friends want to join you, it will help them find it. Okay, so you name your, name your save there. You can put a description in when people find it on multiplayer, and they can find a little... I don't tend to do that, but you can do. Creative or survival. Now, creative, which is this one that's highlighted, is basically a open game where you don't have to worry about your survival needs. You don't have to worry about gathering resources. You just put, you just place blocks, and it's a good way to learn a lot about the blocks. And it's a good way to learn how blocks go together and things like this. Now, it gives you a lot of freedom to build the ships you want and stations and vehicles and all that kind of thing, without having to worry about surviving and gathering resources. Survival is the opposite. You have to worry about your um, your character's needs, which we'll go into in a later video. You have to worry about gathering resources which and processing them and making things and so on, which, again, we'll go into in a later video. Survival is the f kind of full experience. Creative is the um, building, the instant building kind of experience, and you get to learn how to build. Online mode here. Now you can select here whether you want to play on your own, which is when it says offline, no one can connect. You can have private, you can have friends, public. Um, friends is anybody in your friends list on Steam can join you, and public, anyone can find the server and join. And then below that, you've got maximum amount of players. And then below that, you've got whether auto save 
it is enabled or not. If the block box is checked, the game will auto save. If the box is unchecked, the game will not auto save, and that's down to you. Okay. The next two buttons down here, <clears throat> this is mods. So I've got a little bit of a cold, so bear with me on that. Um, here is the mod screen. Now it's divided into two panels. On the left here are all the mods that you are subscribed to. Okay, and a mod is simply a something off the workshop that changes an aspect of a game or adds something different to the game or whatever. That's a lot more. That's a whole new um, rabbit hole to run down there. So I'm going to be very brief with it. You go down this list. You pick the one that you like, that you want in your game. So let's say better pistons. Let me click on the activate mod, the single arrow pointing to the right. And now it's on the right hand panel, which means when I start the game, this mod will be in there. Okay. And then to remove it, you highlight it on the right and click the button down here that's pointing to the left. So remember, left is what you have and right is what is active. Active is what games what will be in the game you play. You can select Activate all mods, which will activate everything, or deactivate all mods, which will deactivate everything. And then down here on the bottom, we have buttons that will help you find mods in the workshop. Um, you can get a description of a mod in the workshop, and so on and so on. And you go back once you've done that to the game new game menu. Now we're going to advanced. Now advanced isn't as scary as it sounds okay in here is the real nuts and bolts of tailoring the game again what you want to do you can change everything here from um, how much you can carry you can carry um, how much the blocks can carry so like storage containers and so on and so forth and you can have that as bigger or smaller the effectiveness of the assembler, so how quickly it works, and the refining speed, and welding speed, grinding speed, and all of those things are just you know tweaks that you can make. This one here is important to point out. This is environment hostility. Now, if you you can have it on safe, normal, cataclysm, and Armageddon. Okay. Now this is basically denoting how much meteors are in the game. Meteors are a um, shower of meteors that will constantly spawn at set intervals depending on what you set here and how many of them um, so obviously normal is just a normal amount at a normal speed and there's a normal gap in between cataclysm and armageddon just increase the amount and the, and how you know crazy they are armageddon is virtually constant and so on you get the idea of that i would recommend to start out keep it on safe because even though asteroids have useful um, resources in them, when you when they strike, um, when sorry meteors, when they strike the ground or um, an asteroid or whatever, they do have useful in, um, resources in them. They will be devastating to your builds. They will destroy your base, your ship, your vehicle, anything if they hit you. So you need to make defenses against those. It adds another layer to gameplay. There's another one here which is important. Um, where is it? Block limits. Now, here, right, we have it disabled. I'll just disable it because this section is about block limits. This whole section here now if you limit the blocks there's only a certain amount of blocks an individual person can place they can own in the world and once they get to that limit they have to delete something else in order to make something um, new this does help with performance if you've got a lot of people playing but it tends to be a server kind of um, setting I tend don't tend to have it on because we you know, you won't get that much, that high. We build big builds all the time, and it's okay. Although, if you've got five or six people playing, it might be worth putting some block limits on. 
Okay. And then when you go through here, this is this is all again. Most of them have a tooltip, so you can pick up what they mean, and you can then decide whether you're going to have NPCs. So you've got drones which will attack you, walls and spiders which will attack you. You've got um, cargo ships and random encounters which won't attack you, and they won't actively come to you, but they will be passively in the world. If you attack them or go to, too close, they will attack you. But you can use them for salvage. So it's, there's many different um, layers and game styles. So you might not want to have those in. You can turn those off. Once you're ready here, you click OK. And you go back to the custom game. So we've named our game. We give it a description. We've picked the, 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 um, uh, we've picked the style. And we put in the mods and told it where we're going to auto save and all that stuff okay so from here you just click start and you're ready to start your adventure so good luck and i will see you guys in the next video where we'll start off from here <laughs>